You will not believe it, but Mikael Antonio has bravely opened up on how he fell out of love with football and didn't even celebrate West Ham winning a European trophy. I just started disliking the game. I began therapy because I was really struggling. I was going through my divorce and I honestly couldn't get my head around it. After we won, the whole team went out. The gaffer went out, got steaming, a couple of boys didn't sleep for two days, just got drunk for two days, I was asleep on the coach and went back to the hotel. I was just mentally drained because of everything that was going on outside of my football, and then I went back to the hotel and went to sleep while everyone was out partying. I didn't score from December until around March, April time, and I just felt like run down. Then I went away with Jamaica because I was enjoying football with Jamaica for some strange reason, but I actually prayed for an injury. I was like, I just want to get injured. I want some time off. And then I went away with Jamaica, and I did my medial knee ligament in November 2023. I was thinking to myself, I'm 33. I can't afford to be performing this way. Otherwise, I'm not going to get another contract. So, it's all those things that spiral through your mind. You're thinking, is this the end for me? Is this my football career over? I started therapy because I was really struggling. And how I grew up, it was never a thing. I thought therapy was for crazy people. But therapy changed my life. At first, it was awkward. I'm not going to lie. You're sat in the room. Someone was there and goes, how are you? And then I'm a person where I'd never cry. And as I was talking to him, I just burst into tears. It was uncontrollable. Controllable. That gave me some type of relief, and then like my chest felt like clear. What do you think about it?